Wow. This is nuts. Ava Chris Tyson steps away from all things Mr. Beast amid transphobic attacks. Tyson was accused of grooming a minor. The alleged victim now 20. This headline, in comparison to this headline, is insane. Dr. Disrespect knowingly sent explicit messages to a minor, former Twitch employee says. What the fuck are these? Who approves these things? Just because he's a fucking transgender, you can't say that he's a, he, was, he was grooming a minor. Yeah, tr Chris didn't leave Mr. Beast because of transphobic attacks. He left because he got exposed for being a pedo. It's nuts that, okay, let's say you're 60 years old and you're scrolling through Rolling Stone. You're like, oh no, they were being transphobic towards him. And then you keep scrolling. You don't read the rest of the article. You don't read the subheader because the subheader is in fucking font six. Nuts. Insane. It's fucking crazy. You can't talk about anything transgender on social media without being fucking canceled. Nuts that this is a fucking thing. It is nuts that this is a thing. So it's been a couple hours since Ava or Chris Tyson got exposed for being essentially a child groomer predator. He said a lot of weird sus things to kids on Snapchat and like private messages. And, and basically he's just getting exposed for being a weirdo, plain and simple. From this situation though, because he was associated with Mr. Beast, who's the biggest YouTuber and probably one of the more, more known individuals on the internet, a lot of people are saying that streamers and people associated with him are scared to speak out or say anything negative on the topic. Pokimane is one of them. Um, the topic of conversation is slightly shifting from him being a predator to, oh, we're being mean to transgender people, which I think is a really fucking weird thing to like say, especially because people are just kind of connecting dots saying that he was a weirdo when he was a man and then he transitioned and now he's a woman and it turns out that he likes to talk to kids. It's weird. And that's what people are talking about. The whole situation is fucking weird. Now you have one side that's going to talk shit about transgender people and the whole LGBTQ community regardless. And then you have one side that's going to defend anything the LGBTQ community does. And they're going to blame it with being homophobic. I personally think that there's nothing homophobic. There's no homophobia really going on here aside from calling it what it is. It's weird that somebody who transitioned over to be a woman likes to talk to kids. I mean, I guess it makes sense because if you think about it, he transitioned over because he felt like a woman and then he likes his gender. The weird part is that he likes younger people of his X gender, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Now, I don't feel like anybody is saying anything that should get them canceled when it comes to talking about transgender people. Nobody's really focused on that. People are mainly just saying like the fucking guy who transitioned over turns out likes fucking kids and it's fucking weird. So people like Pokimane, for example, let me pull up her fucking Twitter. Now, this is where people start saying that shit's backwards, kind of like the doctor disrespect shit. It doesn't make sense that she's going to be outing Dr. Disrespect without knowing anything off the bat, but then she's going to go ahead and tweet. I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable regardless of who you are. It's a shame that people will see this as an opportunity to attack the trans community as a whole. Once person actions do not reflect on every single trans person, so please don't have the... Nobody is saying that every transgender person is a fucking pedophile. They're just saying it's fucking weird. And what are the fucking odds? They're very fucking slim. Especially when you're kind of being backwards about the doctor's disrespect situation. You didn't know all the details regarding doctor disrespect and you still cancel him off the fucking off the bat because he was a straight white dude. But you can't do the same shit because this guy is a fucking transgender. So now you have to be a little bit more careful about it. And then now you're only going to speak on the situation because people are calling you out for being a fucking hypocrite. I think it's pretty fucking stupid. I think it's pretty fucking weird. Now there's a lot of videos coming out now and I think they're going to keep coming out. People are going to keep digging through the internet to find him being a fucking weirdo and creep this guy is one of them he used to work with mr beast and it sucks for mr beast because he can't really control the situation i mean he can control it but it sucks for mr beast because your fucking boy that you grew up with turns out he's a fucking weirdo you know and you're too busy grinding and doing your own fucking thing and then you turn around and your boy's been doing weird shit without you even fucking knowing he can't monitor him all the time and you can't you, you gotta give your boys the benefit of the doubt, you know? Maybe one of your closest fucking friends is a weirdo and you don't even know. I have friends that I found out were fucking weirdos that like, are into some weird shit. 
I didn't even know about it until somebody actually showed me proof. I'm like, fuck, that sucks. You know, like you hear about it and you're like, oh, you're just talking shit. But then when someone shows you, you're like, damn, he really does doing that weird shit. So it sucks for Mr. Beast. I know what it feels like. It must be really tough on him to like not only lose your friend already to the transition and stuff. It probably makes the dynamic a little weird. But then now it's turning out that he likes to talk to little kids. Chris Dyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. as well as other technical backend things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with Yo. him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners. And he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images, corn images, um, alongside all these 15 year olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the coolest person in the world, so they couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes. But looking back, I was definitely uncomfortable uh, at being called daddy by a 20 year old. Um, and it, even just thinking about it now, it's just uncomfortable. This server later went public and became his official Discord server, but before it did, he had me and Lava spend- It would be weird even if somebody my age called me dad or daddy. Like, it would be funny once, but if they're repeatedly doing it, you're just kind of like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> stop being fucking weird, you know? Multiple days scrubbing this Discord server clean of all of the N-words he had sent in it, as well as his friends, as well as deleting the NSFW channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming corn to minors. This story is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize. So if you want to hear more and you want a part two, let me know. So it seems they weren't wrong about Chris or now called Ava being a liability, especially because Mr. Beast has been trending for the past couple of days now and it's not looking too hot. I mean, he even went out to respond and if you haven't seen his response yet, Mr. Beast said, over the last few days, I've become aware of serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further action based on their findings. So from here, a lot of creators just started, you know, responding and reacting to his first response or his first time speaking on the topic. See, I don't agree with this guy that he must have known because I've, I know I have a couple friends who have, I found out later that they've done some weird stuff. I mean, obviously not to this level, but I found out that a couple friends do some weird things and you would have never imagined unless, you know, you were actually shown proof. You can hear stuff from your boys, but like being shown is something completely different. I feel bad for him because Mr. Beast just really spends all his time doing YouTube videos. I don't think he's really considering all the other 
things that are going on around him. Everybody else has other things going on, but it seems to me from what I know and seen from him is that he just really cares about doing YouTube and hasn't really done anything weird per se. I don't think he knew that Ava was weird and he probably didn't want to pry too much into it. A lot of people on Twitter at least, you know, <laughs> don't like the fact that people call him Ava or her or whatever. Face Banks even said, imagine this is a weird, I imagine this is a weird hard time for you. People forget you're a real living breathing human. Mr. Beast is larger than life and I understand why people hold you to the standard they do but i hope you're doing okay it can be easy when it, this happens with a day one friend yeah at the end of the day it's one of your boys that you grew up with who's been grinding with you since day one that's been with you from the beginning and you gotta do what you gotta do i mean you know him even going as far as just completely removing him any association is good enough i mean i'm sure if he finds some crazy stuff in his investigation he's gonna put it out i don't think it's in his best interest to hide anything and I don't even really think he cares to hide anything about this. So he's going to go pretty hard on this. I'm sure Eva or Chris knows that he's he's cooked. This guy is cooked. Now the weird stuff about this Lava GS dude. The weird stuff about this guy is um he keeps saying that nothing happened. And I think from his eyes he, he like nothing physical happened. But there was probably stuff that he didn't realize at the time that he was doing that was weird. Because there's no reason why a 21 year old should be talking to- I talk to a 14 year old and I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like as an adult, you don't really- There's no reason to talk to a 14 year old unless you're mentally 14. And if you're mentally 14, then you have other issues to worry about. So I don't, I don't know, but he responded and said, I commend Mr. Beast for taking this situation seriously and hiring a third party investigator while also taking the appropriate actions of cutting ties with Ava. While the allegations involving my name aren't true, I feel there is still a lot of allegations that deserve to be investigated thoroughly. So this is going to uncover a lot of crazy stuff. And a lot of people like me who just spend their time on the internet are going to be digging in and finding out what's really going on with this guy. One of the main things too that people are kind of like focusing on is the connection with a cartoon CP artist named Shadman. So this guy was a weirdo who basically made CP images and he's responded to him. Like he was known I guess during 2018. I didn't even, I've never heard of this guy. That's not my, cartoon pictures aren't really my thing so. Give an example. So someone highlighted this to me because I don't know Mr. Beast. I'm not insulting the guy, but you're right. That's what he should do. Obviously, he has some questionable morals, but someone highlighted this to me that he recently, and I've never watched his videos, so I don't know, did a video with the 50 biggest streamers in the world, which is all these clowns. But not us, obviously. Well, of course not. Because I'd never, ever, ever, all never, the, ever. All, all these nerds, right? These are supposedly... Now, these are supposedly the 50 biggest streamers in the world. I don't know who any of them are. I can I recognize the faces of maybe three, mm. but I don't know who any of them are. I've never watched any of their shows. I don't know who these insignificant people are. Okay. Bunch of losers. Pushed forward by the algo because the algo decides who's famous. Don Lemon is a perfect example. He's on CNN. Everyone thinks he's famous. He comes off CNN. He's not famous. All of these losers are pushed by the algo. They can be removed from the algo anytime. Nobody will miss them. They're not interesting. They have no real world experience. They can't make a brand on their own. They can't tell you anything that's funny. They're not us. They can't survive a matrix attack. They can't survive jail. They can't survive anything. They're a bunch of fucking dorks. Nobody cares. They're just pushed to the front. So every time we log into YouTube, one of these losers' channels is up. So people watch it, right? So all these insignificant losers are supposedly the biggest streamers, even though I don't know who any of them are. I guarantee you, none of them will insult or talk about Chris Tyson. Not one will talk about the fact that someone working on the Mr. Beast channel is trying to f kids because they are not allowed. Every single person has been told, don't mention this. And if you do mention it, just talk positive about transgenderism. That is proof for the matrix. That is proof that all of these people sell their soul. Yeah, all of these people who get famous on these mainstream channels are compromised. All of them have skeletons in their closet. All of them are afraid. None of them are good people. None of them are honest. None of them tell the truth. All of them. If because any of these 50 fucking people talk bad about Chris Tyson, let me know and I'll make a correction and say, of these this 50, guy is this good. one guy said something good. But I guarantee none of them do. They're just not going to mention it. Instead, they're going to make another stupid video hoping you all forget. Hey, watch me order 15 ice cream. Yeah, so correction, people have actually spoken out on it. Moist Critical talked about the topic, XQC, Sneeko, Kaisana. A lot of these people, you know, at first they were kind of, they were hesitating at first for sure. XQC, Nick Merckx, and Sneeko were the first three people that I saw at least say something. Bo, he's weird, bro. That's weirdo. Weirdo, 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 weirdo. Yes, yes, weirdo. Yes, Chris from Mr. Beast, bro. It's fucked up, it's weird. It's weird, bro. It's weird, it's weird. I don't care. 
That shit is weird, bro. Everybody wants to see what I have to say and shit. It's weird. Should it not be it, it like none of that shit? What a video? Let me get a, let me see the tweet, bro. Whatever the tweet, the video. I just heard it on some blogs and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, what is going on, bro? Like, how do you see? How do you? How do you see? How do you know the age of someone? Knowing that you're a grown ass man and still move forward, bro. I don't understand it. Bro, it's weird. I don't. You don't talk to little kids. I don't, bro. There's no reason, even if. I don't even like talking to my little cousin because he's a pussy because he's 14, you know? Like, I don't. <laughs> There's no reason to be talking to a 14 year old. There's no reason to be talking to a 16 year old, especially with, with how big you are. Like, there's literally no reason whatsoever that you should be out there i love how the algorithm puts this back to back so you got one person saying love that everyone is using this ava chris tyson thing to be openly transphobic full agreement that ava chris tyson should be locked away for being a fucking creep but not for being trans trans is not equal pedo there are more non-trans pedos than trans ones and then right under it, I hate stupid people, specifically Ava Chris Tyson. She comes out as trans and then gets outed as a pedophile. And now we're back where everyone thinks trans people are just pedophiles again. Like, can you sit down for a second and just not touch kids or talk kids appropriately? I don't think anyone is saying that. People are going to talk down on trans regardless of whether or not you're doing something. But there's just a huge divide between people who believe in trans and people who don't believe it. Like the mental illness aspect of it. What people are saying is that it's weird that he comes out as trans and then gets outed for being a pedo. Like that's the weird aspect of it. No one's saying that all trans are pedos. Some people may be saying it. You know, there's people from one side that are going to be saying negative things about transgender people or LGBTQ community regardless of what they do. Like just some people that just do not believe in it as a whole and this just kind of reinforces their thoughts so they're gonna throw him as the face of it but no one's really talking about it they're just saying that it's weird you know it's weird that he comes out as trans a couple years later then it finds out that he's he was doing weird stuff like he's been doing weird stuff for a while the dude's been ill forever i guess we just people didn't even realize it keep it a secret though people are coming out with full-blown receipts the crazy part is that people have receipts. What does the message say? I don't know if you heard about my bathwater prank and how crazy it's gone, but my sock is actually sold out at the moment. Rather than bringing it back, I'm actually looking to bottle a whole bath on video into a giant tub and ship it to whoever buys it. 20,000. I just wanted to reach out in advance because I know this is the kind of content Mr. Beast does. Just to give you a heads up, let me know if this is something that might be interesting. Um, Bell. Oh, it's, it's that Bell girl. Okay, so that Bell. What, what's her face? The weird one. Bell something. She does like OF. What do you mean your stock of bath water sold out? <laughs> what does that even mean? Just take another bath. <laughs> of course, dad. That's the thing about him calling people dad. Why? What is this thing with calling people dad? I know, dude, I would come inside of that egg and then watch her eat it and then watch her have sex with another man while she comments about how my genitalia can never satisfy her. He gets cancer in the mouth. Huh. 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 Okay. I gotta say that is one of the not good places. I, I hope he goes his entire life not smoking a single cigarette and then when he gets 80, he just gets fucked with some, by some dude with some cancer dick and he shoves it in his mouth. And <laughs> yeah. His mouth Yo. Yeah. <laughs> That's hot. Mouth. How's it going, you guys? So, recently everybody's been hearing about the Jeanette McCurdy. This is another video people are talking about. This is where he linked Jeanette McCurdy's um, revenge pee. People aren't liking that, that he was doing that. People don't know if it's real or not. I never heard of this. I didn't even know Jeanette McCurdy had revenge pee around on the internet. Leak of her photo. What the story is, she sent um, pictures to her boyfriend, her now ex-boyfriend, and um, he leaked them out, and... Um, she is a very popular Nickelodeon star on the show um, iCarly and probably be seen as the pulling of the show. It'll probably be taken off the air. Second of all, um, you'll probably see the photos get taken down at some point tonight, maybe tomorrow, because Nickelodeon has that kind of power. But um, the link's in the description if you want to see them. I mean, I'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business, but I know that... Uh, you know, people might want to see him, so there, it's there if you want it. Uh, first off, what I have to say, though, is that when you uh, look on the news, you see people, they've leaked um, nudes from their girlfriend at a high school, and that little that girl 
What? He said nigger. Back in 2009. You do know I'm watching this for 10 hours straight on a live stream. I mean, what do you expect from some white guys from, uh, where do they even live, Missouri? Where the hell are they from? Where is Mr. Beast from? From Kansas. What do you expect from people from Kansas? They're going to say the hard R. They grew up around white people. This isn't surprising. This isn't something that's going to get them canceled, especially because Mr. Beast wasn't really the one to say it. He said it, but usually white people always say it behind the scenes. They, they just do. It's a thing, especially if you're fuck from fucking Kansas or some, some random redneck state they're you're, they're gonna say it it's a thing it's not okay people shouldn't say it but they they say it <laughs> yeah <laughs> well you just oh yeah that's true then mr beast is used to it because that's what he grew around you know like he's gonna be like yo bro like i'm streaming don't say that you don't say that in public but you, we say it but you don't say it in public he probably doesn't say it but it's, he's just used to it because everybody around him says it doesn't make him look good though why are you replying to 14 year olds on snapchat and then sending kissy emojis that's weird that's really weird he might have not known that he was 14 or maybe he did know and that's why he's replying maybe he just replies to everybody the same way but it just doesn't look good that's not something you should do this is the other thing too that people are pissed about how dr disrespect gets blasted on the internet for a very similar situation um maybe not as bad i don't know the full details I don't think anybody knows the full details because it's kind of all under under some legal stuff. But before everybody even knew what actually happened to a certain degree, before Dr. Disrespect even spoke out, he was already canceled. And then now Ava Chris Tyson happens. And then because he's associated with Mr. Beast and because he she's transgender, people are like scared to say it because you're going to get canceled. That's the thing with cancel culture, too, when it comes to like the LGBTQ or or anybody from that side. They try to cancel everybody who speaks down on it. So people are scared as creators to say anything because they don't want to get removed from platforms for saying anything on that topic. So it's kind of it's kind of fucked up, but it is what it is. Like that's just the reality of how the internet works. You can't really say nothing without getting fucked by a bunch of fucking little kids who just want to shit on people and cancel people for no fucking reason. I don't even think it fucking matters to misgender her or him. It doesn't fucking matter. He's a fucking pedophile at the end of the day who fucking texts little kids and likes watching cp cartoons like fuck him at the end of the day does it fucking matter if he's a fucking uh, transgender or not no it doesn't matter if he's a he or her at this point no it doesn't fucking matter fuck what he identifies as he's getting fucking canceled for being a fucking weirdo we should be able to speak out about it and then not be like oh i'm sorry like fuck you but fuck you but you're a girl or fuck you, but but I still respect your pronouns. Like, get the fuck out of here. Does it fucking matter? It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It, w it would be a different thing if it was just a regular fucking person who's just really nice and you fuck with. Like, they don't really do nothing. You could respect their pronouns, but if it's a fucking weirdo, fuck your pronouns. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it fucking You shouldn't be scared to speak out. This is fucking stupid. Misgendering people on purpose. This is fucking like little kid shit. Who the fuck thinks like this? The misgendering on purpose is so gross. She's a pedo. Attack that she's a pedo. Not you. We 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 attack pedos. Oh, we'll slap the fuck out of them. Fuck them. Fuck that. He deserves to get misgendered. He deserves to feel like shit if he's a fucking child predator. This is fucking like little stupid liberal way of thinking. This shit needs to stop on the internet. Like this shit needs to be fucking. Like, caring more about the identity is fucking nuts. Literally fucking nuts. Refusing to speak on it, being too much of a coward to talk about all this, which is crazy to me. And then people saying like, oh, where was the same energy for Dr. Di or where was the same energy that you had for Dr. Disrespect here? And, and, and it's crazy that I even have to talk about this. So, last night during stream, this story was still breaking. Things were still coming out about this story. And I talked about it on stream last night. The same day, all of these pieces of evidence were surfacing. I talked about it immediately. Once I became aware of what the evidence was out there and what the claims were and what was going on, I was talking about it right away. And I even posted a video that is highly edited and short, nice and concise, about the whole bare bones of the situation and my thoughts on it for the second channel. So that way, even if you have the biggest brain rot and can't focus on a video for long, you can still finish that whole video and see just how bad this whole Ava Tyson situation is. So I talked about it immediately, but Twitter didn't see that video. That's the problem with Twitter right now. I don't know what the fuck happened to Twitter and it did not used to be like this. And I've been on Twitter for fucking years. I've been on Twitter since like 2011. It just got to the point where there's just so many fucking little kids 
who just like talking shit and canceling people they're fucking it's ruining actual conversations because people are just trying to get engagement views it literally ruins the internet the fact that they're just fucking rage baiting most critical like he, he talked about the situation. I watched the video. I watched the full video, actually. He was actually... He wasn't scared to talk about it. So this is fucking stupid. They, they even have a, a, a context on it. Moist Critical did make a video covering the Ava Chris Tyson allegations. He had openly condemned her for communicating with a minor in an appropriate manner. Moist Critical called out Sneeko in the last few minutes of the video for his views on age consent. Which Sneeko did talk about saying that the age of consent should be 16. Which is... How are you going to say the age of consent should be 16, but then talk shit about fucking pedophiles? Most places succeed. And if you question that, then they call you a pedo. I believe the age of consent is the age of maturity. It should be called the age of marriage. Age of consent implies that you're going to have s out of wedlock. I think it's better that people get married at 16, 17 than to have a bunch of premarital s until they're 30 and they're washed up and then they get j He's just talking shit. Sneeko just likes to talk shit. He t you can't call... S he's contradicting himself. Uh, some takes he has good takes sometimes other takes it's kind of like bro what the fuck are you talking about the worst part of the situation is that the people who talk the most shit are the ones with no real fucking no real pictures what the fuck is this a hundred thousand subscribers no fucking pictures of this guy how do you have a hundred thousand who the fuck is your manager let me guess another guy with the fucking Is this even fucking him? Who the fuck is this guy? I feel like you shouldn't- You shouldn't have an opinion online if you don't have a picture of yourself. Have a fucking picture of yourself, pussy. Yeah, just pictures of fucking streamers and everybody else, but no fucking picture of himself. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much it. This is, uh, all that's happened so far. There's more details coming out. I want to compose a more concise video or a more comprehensive video about everything that's gonna be released soon because it's just gonna keep on going. People are gonna keep digging up, uh, more- bad stuff that this guy did so i'm gonna wait a little bit a couple days or so see if more things come out and then i'll make a more concise video this is basically just an update of everything that most people already know and yeah thanks for watching guys um make sure you like and subscribe <laughs> i don't even fucking want to say that